We all have different agendas. So my agenda is to eat and live and taking your food concentrates to become a superconductor of the divine. In other words, to support your spiritual life. Okay? We know when the mind is working clearly, we can transcend it. If the mind is muddled, which incidentally does happen with radiation, why? Because the brain gets oxidized. Literally, the brain gets oxidized. And to some other research that, again, is suggestive, because a lot of this is suggestive, not proven, is associating the amount of depression in a country with the number of nuclear plants. So the people who are, you know, because they're near the nuclear plants, they're more exposed to the radiation, it's oxidizing their brain and is more associated with depression. So I, I kind of throw that out as, a, again, a kind of an overview that this is more, it's a bigger issue, okay? Um, so the first question is, you know, why, what's our interest? Okay, well, we have one, spiritual. How about longevity? Yes, of course, we, I always ask the question, longevity for what? Okay, Lama, why? Okay, and, and, and you know, some people say, well, longevity because I want to evolve spiritually. Some people say longevity because I want to see my grandchildren. People have different reasons, but these food concentrates, these uh, unique herbs have qualities that will support longevity. The big longevity herbs, but there's more than three, are going to be your reishi, goji, and ginseng. But there's more, and it's a bigger picture. Okay? Some people say, I just want to be healthy. I'm doing this because I want to be healthy. I want to feel good. I don't care about longevity. I want to feel good all the time I'm alive. Some people are doing it because they have disease processes and they want treatment. Now, our focus, honestly, is not so much on disease process, okay? I want to say that we're not, take this supplement for this problem. That's a different kind of workshop. Our focus is, what I'm going to use the word, tonifiers. All the herbs that I'm going to be talking about today are tonifiers. They're connected with better functioning in a global way. Well-being. Longevity, adaptability, inner strength, okay? That's what we're talking about. We're not using herbs as medicines in that way. Now, in the Chinese system, in general, tonifiers are uh, uh, kind of the top node. And then there's another level of herbs that are medicinal herbs. Totally valid, totally good. We're, this is... We don't really carry those. There's some crossover, but that isn't the focus. The focus is quality of life, well-being, longevity, spiritual expansion, durability, uh, kind of your deep energetic reserve. These are terms that we'll get into in a, a little bit, but that's the focus. And all the food concentrates many of them which can help prevent disease and can treat disease, are really about, again, building you as a strong ecological unit that's really functioning at the highest level. So that's the angle of what we're looking at, uh, less than the idea of, you know, this is all about an allopathic, take this herb because you have a bladder problem. That's another course. And it doesn't mean herbs aren't for that. They're very good for that. I've been doing it for over 40 years, and I will totally say herbs are great, but that's not the point. The point where we're focusing is optimal health, optimal well-being. So that's, that's how I'm thinking and talking about it. <laughs>